What's going on, guys? Bobby from Skybrows here today with a very exciting update. We're finally supporting the Autel Smart Controller. So now, today in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a video path, a uh, flight path for the drone, record a video, and upload that video into Skybrows right here. So I'll start off with the calibration settings for the Autel drone itself. So we're going to go into camera view by pressing uh, camera right there. And then on the top right, once you enter into camera, you'll see the cog setting right there. Go ahead and tap that. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on general setting, and scroll all the way back up, and you'll see the subtitle file. Go ahead and toggle that on right there, and you're good to go. Now back into the Autel Smart Controller app, we're going to go into the camera setting. We're going to fly the drone above whatever you want to map out. And you'll see on the top left, it's in manual flight mode right now. So we're going to go toggle that and click on Smart Orbit, which is on the bottom left right there. Once you're in that mode, you can see that it just, you'll just need to draw a box around the area that you want to do an orbit around. So I've drawn a box around this truck right here, and also my gimbal's around 45 degrees or so. So you can capture the sides of the area. And then the drone will automatically calibrate by itself, and I'll start flying. So once it's flying, you'll see on the bottom right the speed. Go ahead and tap that. Increase the speed up to about 5 miles an hour so that the drone's not flying so slowly. And then go ahead and press the record video button on the right-hand side. And you'll see that the drone is just recording video, flying by itself, that subtitle file that we toggled on earlier is all the flight logs from the drone itself. So we're using that to capture GPS and telemetry data, as well as all sorts of different uh, data that we use to crunch together a 3D model. And the drone's going to fly itself in an orbit. It's going to continue flying. And on the top left, you'll see uh, there's a map view as well. So if you tap the map view, you'll see the drone flight pattern. So when the drone gets closer towards the end of the orbit, we're going to stop it. So right here, it's just about done with the orbit. So we're going to press the stop record video button on the right-hand side. And then press stop on the top. And you'll see that the drone stopped flying as well as uh, stop recording video. And there you have it. So within the native Autel uh, smart controller itself, you can now capture a SkyBrowse mission doing a perfect orbit around the scene. And that's just one orbit, so you don't have to do the double orbit right there. So now, back when you're uh, in front of a laptop, you'll see on the top left, go ahead and click on Upload Video, and you'll have a different option on the right-hand side, which is Autel Smart Controller. If you don't have that option, just uh, email our team or uh, contact us through the Contact Us form on our website, and we'll get you upgraded so that you can do this. And go ahead and just uh, click right there. And you'll see a few things. You'll see the model name. Let's go ahead and change that model to Smart Orbit. A drone type as well. So let's select Evo 2 series. And then browse type. So that's the sky browse mission right there with the orbits. And then let's go find that orbit. So this seems to be the orbit right there. Perfectly good video of the orbits. And we're going to go ahead and upload that. So take a little bit to upload. And then once it's uploaded, give it a few minutes to process. And you'll get something like this right here. So you have the smart orbit, you'll see what it looks like right here, and moving forward, when I click on view model, you'll see here's the entire looking 3D model. It's a pretty good looking 3D model altogether. You've got the parking garage right here, you've got all the measurements anchored down to a centimeter. Every single tool within the sky browse dashboard is still good to go, and you'll see that, uh, there you go, there you have it. A 3D model generated with the Autel smart controller, finally, yep. so. Now all, all of our Autel Enterprise uh, drone pilots can make 3D models really quickly and really easily with SkyBrows. Hope this helps. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.